why I'm speaking with Ian Wright of Wright Speed X1, a fabulous roadster that you've built yourself with a little bit of help. Could you tell me a little bit about your inspiration behind building this roadster? I have to give credit to a guy called Al Kikoni down in LA. He's a Caltech engineer and I think he was the first visionary that saw that while you can't make electric cars cheap, you can make them fast, very fast. Mm -hmm. And the magic about it is that you don't have to give up efficiency to get power. So you can make a very fast electric car that's still very, very efficient. How many batteries, how big of a battery bank does this, this car have? Uh, it's a 436 volt battery, so not to be messed with, and it weighs 538 pounds, and it stores 25 kilowatt hours, which is enough to run the average house for a day or so. How much does that uh, battery weight add to the total weight and heft of the car itself? Um, this car with a gasoline engine would weigh about 150 pounds less than this, the car does now. What's, what, are, what are your plans for this car? Um, this car, there aren't really any plans to develop this car any further. We're building production cars which will be a clean sheet design. So it's a new design and actually all of the technology is changing between here and the production car. Um, this has been a very good experiment. It gives uh, people something to get excited about. Uh, we've learned a lot about the technology but also about um, the product and the customers and what's important and not important. And one of the hardest lessons was if you make a car this fast, um, and you give it to people who aren't racing drivers, they get into trouble. So we're building technology that will make that um, much safer. For example, one of, the, one of the guys that's going to be writing the vehicle dynamics control software, he's got a daughter that's going to be getting her license at about the same time as our car comes out. And he said to me one day, do I want Jessica to learn to drive in a car with that much power? And I said, yeah, Bruce, you do. Think about it. Because you, know, you give her the pink key and it changes the vehicle dynamics. You can reduce the power, you can reduce the slip rate, you can make the car um, understeer more. You can give the car a personality that matches the driver. And we will actually do that. So it will be quite safe for his daughter to learn to drive in. And he can make it a little less safe when he wants to drive it. Yeah, at the other end of the scale, I've had professional rally drivers in the car and, you know, he was driving the car sideways and spun it and loved it. And I told him what we we're going to do to make the production car safe. And he said, yeah, that's great, but I still want to drive it sideways. <laughs> and I said, yeah, no problem, Rod, we'll give you the black key. One of the nice properties of electric drive is that you can get this level of performance in something that's very pleasant to drive around town. Now, it's very easy to drive at low speeds and in heavy traffic. And you know, there's no clutch, there's no shifting, the motor's quiet, it's very nice to control. Um, whereas with a very, very high performance gas engine car, they're generally not much fun unless you get them out on the track. So in this case, it's fun in either case. I want one. <laughs> Can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the styling was done by a guy in England called Simon Saunders. He has a company called Aerial and they make a car called the Atom. It basically looks like this but it has a gasoline engine. Well the car does 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, 0 to 106.8. It'll corner at 1.4 G once you get the tyres warmed up. Could you tell me a little bit about um, where things are on the car and you know how, how, how it's actually put together? Okay. Well if we start over here, you'll notice that there is an accelerator and a brake but there's no clutch and in fact there's no gear shift either um, it is a single speed transmission and there's just a rocker switch to select forward or reverse in reverse the software limits you to 15 miles an hour otherwise you can do 100 miles an hour backwards because all you're doing is reversing the direction of the motor the black boxes here are the battery pack it's a 538 pound battery pack um, gives you about 100 miles range and it's capable of about a 700 horsepower short burst. I don't use that much power in this car but that's what it can do. Silver cover is the, is the motor. This is one end of it here and this is the other end down here. Um, it's about this diameter and it weighs only 100 pounds and makes 250 horsepower. This big black box here has got the power electronics in it and that takes the 400 volts from the battery DC and it makes three phase AC sine waves to drive the motor. Variable frequency, variable current. Up to 600 amps into the motor, up to 600 amps from the battery pack. Now, um, what is the, uh, the website address? So if people are interested in taking a look at more information about your car, if this piques their interest, where can they find you? It's www.rightspeed.com. So it's W-R-I-G-H-T-S-P-E-E-D. Dot com. Dot com, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much for this interview. It's been fascinating. And like I said, I want one. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you.